Hey kids, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Adventure Jungle Zoo. Uh, this is Jack. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome aboard. Uh, today, as uh, you can see by the card, um, we're going to be putting in a hippopotamus uh, habitat. And I'm putting it in right here. Now, I did do a little initial terraforming. And I laid out some path because I wanted to make sure where I was going with this. Um, but that's all. Uh, I, I didn't add anything else in yet, so it's all a blank slate. Uh, so let's just uh, let's just get into it, shall we? So the first thing I want to do here is I want to. Uh, Habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. Who do you think it is? It's the lemurs. Of course it is. Because I can never get those guys to, uh, uh, to, to clean up the lemurs in a timely fashion. Now, what I'm trying to do here is I want to make this as close to the path, path as possible. I will be doing some stuff with this um, with this path as far as construction is concerned. So what I want it to do is basically um, you know uh, hold a shape. I want it to um, be there so I can do other things. All right, let's draw this out. I think this is still uh, still below ground. Might be multi-level. Uh, yeah, I, I want this to be on the top of the surface, but you know it doesn't want to be so. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, that's under the path, and I don't want it under the path. But hey, you get you know you, you do what you can, and let Mother Nature uh, do the rest. Because there ain't no doubt about it, we were doubly blessed. We were barely 17, and we were barely dressed. Sorry, that's a song lyric. Um, you know how I am with song lyrics. I get them stuck in my head all the time. Uh, if you haven't ever heard Paradise by the Dashboard Light by Meatloaf, I suggest you do because it's a fun song. And it's not what a lot of people assume it is when they first hear it. Um, it it's, seriously, it's not. But it's still a good song. It's a fun song. And... Um, it's a really well done song, and of course it was written by um, Jim Steinman, who just recently passed away at the age of 73. Jim Steinman is one of the most influential and omnipresent songwriters that you've never heard of. I assure you of that. Um, you know, you very likely never heard of Mr. Steinman, but that's okay. Um, You've heard his songs, even if you were unaware that you have ever heard his songs. He's one of those kind of songwriters who's, you know, in the background. Not only did he perform in his own as a singer under on, under his own name, but he was also, you know, songwriter to half a dozen other singers, um, including some really great ones. I mean, some legendary ones. And. Uh, and, and like I said, he just recently passed away. Um, but one of the songs that he wrote was for Meatloaf. And you don't if you don't know who Meatloaf is, Meatloaf is a fun singer, too. All right, let's see. That's the basic borders of our habitat. I think I want to bring this in close over here. In fact, let's just bring it all the way over here. We'll just yeah. Let's 
but he also did um, a lot of songs for Streets of Fire. That was just a fun, a, a fun little musical movie. Um, he did an opera about vampires. I mean, seriously, he did an opera about vampires. How cool is that? So, what I need... Transformer needs repair. How long is it? Oh, well, that explains it. You have to put these things on more frequent maintenance than every year. You just have to. If you don't, this is what happens. All right, so that's that taken care of. Why are the koalas in boxes? Is it because of the crowd? It's probably because probably of the crowd. Unbox all animals. There we go. Okay. Now, back to what I was doing. Um, what I want is this. Uh, don't tell me it's too close. Don't, don't tell me that. That's, that's not something I ever want to hear. Okay, there we go. All right. God, you know, I should just... I should just pause the game when I'm building. That way I don't get interrupted. Where was I? Where, where was I? Oh, I was over here. Anyway, um, you know, I, I, I'm putting in the two-way glass, and I want to get it as naturally. I want to get it as close as I can to the path. It's not as close as I can get it. Why is it? it when the game itself is being uncooperative. Obstructed. How is that possibly obstructed? Makes no goddamn sense. I may have to alter the terrain a little. Okay. Or I may need to do this. So, um, next thing I want to do is um, this. And yes, I know I'm concentrating on this barrier, but that's because I'm trying to... Uh, there's something I want to do with this basic... Why is it not letting me do that? Does it conflict with the... Okay, problem's not there. Problem's not there. Problem's not there. Problem isn't there. Problem isn't there. Let's see. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. That's about where I wanted it. All right. Ah, 
Aha, says I. All right. And yes, I know, you know, we're 12 minutes in and I'm still fiddling with the barriers. There's a reason. Trust me. going to let me get any closer than that. Fine. All right. You know what? No, let's use plaster because I, I can color plaster. Yeah, okay. Right. Whoops, that wasn't it. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is good enough. Seven is good enough. So what I want to do is I want to move this part over here. What we're doing is we're making a viewing gallery. If you haven't figured that out yourself, we're making a viewing gallery um, for the hippos. And while I don't want to necessarily make a full-on building, um, I don't mind if I do make a full-on building, if that makes any sense at all. Okay. Now let's... Um, so, you know, like I said, we're making a viewing gallery here, and what I basically want is for uh, this area to be, you know, th these windows. Um, I'm going to put, come on, up, 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 
close enough. Um, you know, these windows are going to be watertight because I'm making them out of the out of the the, the one-way glass. They're going to be watertight. So this is going to be an underwater viewing area, and um, I want it to be. I want the walls to be high enough so that they will block the water if they need to. Um, and of course, they do need to. So it's actually out of, yeah, there. So this is all concrete, you know, there, see? Um, in fact, let me do this. Okay, what do I want? How about a dark green? Or maybe a lighter green? Yeah, that's a good green. We'll use that green. Um, anyway, as for the rest of the wall, um, oh, come on. There we go. <sighs> it's a different green <laughs> when we're doing construction objects than when we're doing um, the barrier. That's just not fair at all. That really is not fair at all. Put your fingers on the right keys there, Butler. There we go. All right. Okay, let's uh, do one more thing. We're going to put that just a touch, just a touch there. Is that inside? Yeah, that's inside the wall. Very good, very good. Okay, now, um, back to the construction pieces. I want... Um, I want this one, I think. Why is that so far away from the freaking... I bet you it's because of the walls. did it. Come on, be a little more cooperative. Is that straight? Well, I know the barrier is not straight, but I think that's a little more straight, so I do need to adjust the barrier. close enough. So, back to construction. Um, I'm 
going to use an African theme on this. Let's turn off the blueprints. put a roof on this after all. It's going to be open. Or maybe I'll put sunshades on it later. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it like it is. Um, let's adjust the barriers just a little because I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm like, you know what? I've got a corner here that I don't necessarily need. Take this and just run it to there. And we will dump that for now. But we're coming back to it. So. This has the extra added benefit of actually having a surface component. How about that? And, you know, we are definitely going to have to use the concrete barrier because hippos are strong. They are strong, strong animals, and, you know, just think about it. Let's get it up around two meters, I think. What, what is the, what is the size for hippopotamuses? Let's, let's go looking. Let's, let's check. Let's verify this. Um... Here we go. We need, it needs to be six foot, 6.6, .6, that's two meters. 6.6 .6 feet is two meters. Um, oh, hey, I, I had a, a bit of an announcement and I forgot to make it, so I guess I'll make it now. Um, I'm going to be taking a break from the uh, single serving zoo series. I'll be, I'll, I'll be quite honest, the reason is because um, I'm suffering a little burnout. Um, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for my next single serving zoo and I realized that I didn't have the first clue. Not the first clue. I was like, well, you know, what can I do? I could do this. No, nah, that didn't really sound appealing. Well, how about this other thing? No, that's not really, you know. Okay, well, what about this other? No, no, you know, and uh, and while I've got a plan for the uh, tropical zoo, as you can tell, um, the single servings were always basically much more based in just winging it than um, than otherwise. So, um, until I can basically recharge the creative batteries, I'm going to be taking a break. I'm going to play something else. I haven't decided yet, but it, I'm thinking about make, maybe doing a playthrough of Evil Genius. I have the game. I haven't done much with it, um, but I'm, you know, I keep getting told by people I trust that, oh man, this is a great game. You're going to love it. Okay, well, hey, let's let's give it a try then. How about that? You know, um, so that's what I may end up doing uh, in place of the single serving zoo series. Is I may end up playing um, 
evil genius. Of course, it may be something else too. I mean, I haven't decided. I have a lot of games that I could be playing that I'm not playing, but um, you know, Bioshock. Um, I had that aborted uh, Fallout 4 playthrough that I could always play again. Um, there's just, you know, there's a lot of possibilities. And I haven't, you know, I haven't made any decisions yet. If you have any suggestions for what I might want to play next, by all means, um, let me know them. You know, let, let me hear about them. I, uh, I'm all open to all kinds of things, and I'm a, a equal, an equal opportunity game player. I will play pretty much almost anything. Um, you know, I mean, I haven't really decided yet what I'm going to be doing, but it could literally be anything. All right, there we go. We're going to raise this up to this level. And I'm liking how these walls are looking, I really do. Okay, that's not that's not working obviously, but that's okay. Um Let's bring this out just a touch. You know, and yeah, I'm, I'm perf I am perfectly aware that we are now almost half an hour into the video and what I've basically been doing was setting up the barriers. That's fine. That's not a problem. Let's see. Terrain. Let's move that out a little, see what happens. Okay, and that's about as far as it'll retreat back into the... Alright, that's fine. Now... Let's put the door here. And here's the staff path. Let's see. Are you going to be troublesome? Yes, it's going to be troublesome. Okay. It doesn't want the door to be there, so we will not have the door be there. That's simple logic. If the you know if if it doesn't want to be there, it's not going to be there. You know what? I think. How about over here? 